Hey everyone, this is Rave and Mini Voices, and today I'd like to talk about grounding, and particularly the Earth Chakra. So a lot of us know the basic seven chakras, crown chakra, third eye, throat, heart, center, sacral, root. But there's actually 108 chakras in your body. This is what makes malas, those beaded necklaces, so powerful. Because each time you touch one of the beads, you're touching one of the chakras around your body. These chakras are both in the body, connected to organs, connected to energy centers. Sometimes they help energy centers, like you have your heart and you have a high heart that helps to regulate the energy but some of these chakras are outside of your body and float above they help you access the stars like the star chakra or the earth chakra which is actually located in the bottom of your feet the reason why I want to talk about the earth chakra particularly is because of all this amazing energy coming on the planet one of our jobs here in the physical body is we connect the heavens to the earth. And how we do that is basically being in this fabulous body. We have energy that comes through our crown chakra, down through our chakra network, and then through our feet into Mother Earth. Kind of think of yourself like an acupuncture needle. You literally are helping to ground that energy in the Mother Earth. And this is why your feet sometimes get really sore. Even if you haven't been standing all day, that those uh, chakras in your feet, that connection is very active right now because we have a lot of energy, cosmic energy, solar energy, alignment of the planets, the magic returning on the planet. All that energy is flowing through you in the Mother Earth. And if you're not grounded, that means all that energy is bouncing around inside of you. This can cause anxiety. It can cause uh, just cloudy headedness, you can't stay focused, you're sleeping all the time, and why you're so tired and sleepy is because when you sleep, you naturally ground and repair. So your body is naturally trying to connect. So when we make a more conscious effort of being grounded and being here on the planet, it can really help both stabilize our physical health, but also help Mother Earth, and that's why we're here. So to help us with that, there's some basic things that you can do. And the biggest one is take care of your feet. <laughs> that's right. Make sure you actually take some care of those things down there. Get them out of those rubber shoes. Rubber shoes insulate and, and prevent us from connecting to Mother Earth. So if you can take off those shoes and put your bare feet on the ground, I know it's a cold season, so you can use your socks uh, to help with that, and that is totally fine. Even if it has rubber grippers on it, a sock still allows for that natural connection from your feet to the earth. They also make grounding shoes that have a special natural resin in the rubber that allows and facilitates more grounded connection. So there's different products you can get out there, but the basic thing that you can do is just take care of your feet. And I'm talking about get your hands down there and rub those hoofies. So be sure that you use a lotion or an oil or something down there. Maybe get a pedicure, soak your feet. They've got those great foot baths to help relax your feet and release the stress down there so that the energy flows more naturally. Some of the things you can do at home, you can get those lovely fuzzy socks to keep your feet warm and still stay grounded. This is my model today. Is the earth chakra, where is that located in your body? So the earth chakra in your feet, if this is a foot here, is right smack in the middle of your foot, right there. So if you hold that point in your foot, you activate that chakra or that pressure point and help to facilitate that flow of energy. You can massage, rub your feet really rub you can rub the ankle you want to really rub the whole foot really getting the flow of energy to go you can also use a tennis ball a tennis ball you can roll your feet on a tennis ball while you're watching TV or underneath your desk at work and this will help to activate that chakra and help loosen up your feet you can also get different grounding oils I make one called mother earth grounding oil and you can it is in a roller you can just roll that right onto your feet the ingredients in here are peppermint and clove. Both of these, peppermint being cooling and clove being warming, they both warm and cool your feet, but they activate that earth chakra energetically through that 
those herbs and that oil. So you can put together your own peppermint and clove oil. You can just use peppermint. You can just use clove or whatever combination of different essential oils that works for you to get your feet loved and open. So definitely keep this in mind over the winter season because we tend to put our feet into shoes and they don't see the light until summer when we get our flip flops back out. So be sure to take care of those feet and most importantly, be sure to ground to Mother Earth because that grounding that you do now will help with the energy that you receive from the new year of magic in 2020. So I hope this helps you. If you want more information, want to learn about me, Raven Mini Voices, do check out my website, ravenmedium.com. You can also find me on Facebook under the same name, Raven Mini Voices. So take a look and happy holidays and i hope you take care of those feet namaste